All right, hello everyone. I'm Dr. Tushar Mehta. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and your faculty of orthopedics. Uh, well, uh, today this video is about a very, very important topic. Um, not only it is asked in your university, finally your MBBS uh, theory exams, but uh, even in your practical exams, even in your VIVA, even in your MCQs, it contributes to a lot of MCQs even. So by now, I am sure you must have guessed it right. We are here in this video to talk about this phenomenal MCQ and that is what is called as sequestrum. Before I move further, let's try to understand what does sequestrum mean. Well, guys, sequestrum literally means separate. When I say separate, what does that mean? That it is separate from the underlying verbal healthy parent bone. That typically means that it has no connection with the parent bone. It is that piece of bone which has no arterial, venous, lymphatic or even nutritional uh, connections with the parent bone. So that's where the word sequestrum separate comes from. It is certainly the pathological hallmark of chronic osteomyelitis. It is the pathognomony feature for chronic osteomyelitis. Third, very important point is that it is the chief nidus of infection. Now, when I use the word nidus of infection, what does that mean? That simply means that it is the, well, nidus means nest source, locus focus, where things are concentrated. So it is the chief nidus of infection. And when I say it is the chief nidus of infection, that means uh, till the time sequestrum is there, infection will be there. So kind of infection persists with sequestrum. So that's something for you to remember. Now, if you see it, if you see the sequestrum, you will be able to identify that this piece of bone is typically more dense as compared to the rest of the bone and i hope you are aware of the fact that anything any bone that looks more white on an x-ray we call it radio dense <clears throat> so to summarize sequestrum is that piece of bone which is relatively a dead piece of bone a radio dense piece of bone a ischemic piece of bone necrotic piece of bone uh, which is separate from underlying verbal healthy parent bone. You can take it like that. So it's not alive, it's dead, radio dense, ischemic, necrotic, and healthy, non viable, non vital piece of bone. But now coming to the most important point periosteum. The love and life of a bone is called periosteum. Alright, if you do anything to the bone, if you do any, let's say, trauma, tumor, or infection to the bone, this outer jacket of the bone, this level life of the bone, this periosteum basically tries to take a revenge from you and that uh, periosteal revenge is uh, in the language of orthopedics and radiology is what is called as periosteal reaction. So if you can see, then this periosteum is trying to take a revenge and in the form of this revenge it is trying to, you know, make a sub-periosteal healthy new bone, immature, reactive, healthy, immature, sub-periosteal new bone all around you. Uh, so this immature, reactive, healthy uh, new bone that you're looking at right now, which has been formed as a part of the periosteal reaction around the infection, this is what is called as involucrum, but that's not all. This involucrum has got certain holes in it through which the infection exudes out, the pus exudes out, the necrotic bone debris exudes out, and that hole is what is called as cloaca in a singular or uh, cloaca in a plural. So if I may say till now, then... Of course, I would like to mention it like that, that, you know, uh, periosteal reaction is a kind of a revenge and that revenge to sequestrum is making something called involucrum, which has got certain holes in it through which the organism and the debris and the pus exude out. Now, if you see sequestrum, uh, it never bleeds because it has no blood. I've already told you it's an ischemic bone, so no matter how hard you try to crush it it won't bleed uh, it takes around two to three months to develop that's the time for it to uh, develop uh, to be formed completely um, when you take a look at a normal bone you make a histological slide and you look at the bone under a microscope you see aversion canal opening canal this canal that canal here you don't see anything it's completely closed a dead bone is not going to show you any signs of a histological signs of a live bone so under a microscope you don't see anything it has got two surfaces for sure and the last point that I want you to remember that it floats in pus when you see it clinically the patient will show you it will come out floating in pus just like chalk flakes or some debris 
but then you put it in what it sinks because of a simple Archimedes principle of buoyancy it is lighter than pus but heavier than water. So my dear friends whether they ask you in MCQs or they ask you in theory or they ask you in viva the job is simple 10 points the question has 10 points. A. It is separate from underlying verbal heredity pain and bone. It is the pathological hallmark of chronic osteomyelitis. Chief nidus of infection till the time sequester will persist. Believe me, infection will persist. It is dead, radio dense, ischemic, necrotic, and healthy, non viable, non vital piece of bone, which is separate from underlying verbal heredity pain and bone. That point I've already mentioned. It is surrounded by reactive, immature, subperiosteal heredity new bone. I told you which is formed as a part of the periosteal reaction or periosteal revenge. And that new bone is what is called as involucrum, which has got certain holes called cloicae through which the infection exudes out. The remaining five points it never bleeds to surfaces under microscope, no haversian canal, two to three months to develop, floats in pus, sinks in water. So, 10 very important points about sequestrum, which can be asked in theory as a short note, in viva as a kind of an x-ray uh, kind of an x-ray spotter or maybe an example other uh, simple viva question and of course mcq is for sure there's no doubt about it so the purpose of this video was to give you a lot of information in a very concise manner and i hope you get benefited with this x-ray so that you have this into your head you absorb the entire image and you no, if at all an x-ray comes to you later on, then how are you supposed to label that what is a question, what is involucrum and what is this hole called as cloaca. So I hope this video benefits you in the long run and thank you so much. God bless. We'll be coming up with more videos uh, soon. Uh, stay tuned to the channel and do look out for the uh, previous videos which are already there. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.